So, hi. Hi for this next review. And this time I will review a small kit of a Sundup K800 motorcycle with a Steib sidecar in 125th scale. This model is from uh, Vulcan Scale Models, from based in Hong Kong. And it is a kit from 2010, so quite a, a uh, recent kit. That's what I said. The box art. Got this type sidecar, which is uh, quite unusual since this was mainly a civilian sidecar. Actually, those are still uh, built because Steib is still existing as a company in Germany. So, nowadays even people with classic uh, motorbikes who wants to add a new sidecar are still uh, buying those ones. You got this torpedo, dirty torpedo um, style from the 30s, 1930s uh, time. Got other side views. Same box as the cover. And the two side views of the boat and the motorcycle. Top opening box for those who are interested in the type of boxes. Inside we got one, two, and three sprues. And then we got a small bag with the photo edge threads thicker sheets and metal springs and of course the instruction sheet so let's start with the main screw here which contains mostly the frame and the wheels, that means the rims. Very nice, crisp, clean. You can see the frame here. No flash, perfect. Second sprue is the sidecar. We get the, the sidecar in itself, which is nicely molded, and you cannot see it, but it gets even a structure on the surface. It's not flat. And also the rims, sorry, the wheels for the boat and the boat. Same quality, crisp, no flash. And then the last total screw, which is actually the parts for the motor and uh, the exhausts. And they can see hardly a flash. Small flash here on the small uh, exhausts, but for the rest, perfect. So, and let's open the small bag here, which contains the decal sheet, which is a small sheet with two versions Wehrmacht and Luftwaffe. They are a little bit thick and also a little bit on the yellow side. Not great. And then we get the photo edge parts. I can open one of these small bags, which are quite difficult to open. So here we go. No 
colors are the wheels, the sprockets. you get three frets like that which are for the two bike wheels and uh, the sidecar and then the last small fret is uh, containing the fret for the uh, motor parts and also the license plates holders. So now if you see well, it's very tiny. And even more tiny, we'll not take them out of the bags. One, two, and for six small metal springs for the bike and the sidecar. Let's go over on the instruction sheet, which is in a glossy, high quality paper uh, with uh, uh, small warnings, don't eat, don't uh, choke your models, uh, the symbols callouts and the color callouts, which came actually in Tamiya, Mr. Color and Live Color. Which is nice for those using those brands. Instruction sheets have to be folded out like this. Get sprue map, and then you get all the steps through step number 36 to finish the bike. It is just a few steps per per per, per step, a few parts per steps. So it's easy to follow. It's a little bit like a, let's say, more Tamiya style uh, instruction sheet, which is not bad at all. You can see, for example, here, yeah, clear, nice. All instructions should be made like that. Hello, Dragon. Uh, yeah, I would say that's it. This is a. Nice uh, small kit motor for those who like German motorbikes or motorbikes in in general. It is quite unusual because of this uh, specific boat. You get also kits uh, from IGB, I think, which got the same boat in a civilian version with a BMW R12 attached. You get also this one with. Uh, a figure kit uh, also together in one box. This um, this bike with the with the motorcycle and the figures. I think the figures are from MB or uh, Mini Art. I'm not sure. Other things uh, you can also have from the same the same brand Vulcan. You can have the motor without the boat. They got the K800 and I think they got also the BMW, I think it's the R12 also. So, hope you enjoyed. Bye.